are amazing. Carol was in the graduating class of West Point of the first graduating class that allowed women. Yeah. Yeah. She retired as a lieutenant colonel in the Army, and her wife, Sheila, is a beautiful and wonderful light of love in this world. She is. She, she is a master at being love and radiating that love out to the world. Everybody who knows and sees her acknowledges and, and feels that love. And I am so grateful that they are friends of mine and that so grateful that we as a community could come together and help support them. So I'm going to turn it over to Carol, who is a fabulous speaker, and you will fall in love with her. <laughs> well, thank you so much for having Heaven on Earth for Veterans here today. And listening to what Reverend Kimberly was saying and everybody else was speaking, you know, she was talking about ordinary spaces. But any time Reverend Kimberly walks into a room, it becomes extraordinary. Yeah. It, it's just so true. I mean, who here, the first time you met her, didn't remember her? <laughs> this, yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> well, then you didn't meet, really. But every place she goes, every person she touches, you just feel better. And I know that she has done a lot for Sheila and I, and we truly appreciate it. And I think that this here is absolutely wonderful. And you know, she talked about my wife Sheila being love. Well, if there was one word I could describe, Reverend Kimberly is love. And I know you see the nods, it's the same. So from one veteran to another, who, well, I do want to first acknowledge any of the veterans who are here in the room. Would you raise your hand? Wow, that's a lot. Thank you. So now what I'd like to do is I'd like everyone who has not served in uniform to raise your hand. So here's what I want to say, and if you can, keep those hands up. And, and if you get, there you go, there you go. All right, if you can't, give me 10. We had a meeting, and if you get tired, you can put them down. All right, you can put them down, you can put them down. But remember who you are, because I'm going to talk about you. Sheila and I were at a luncheon with a gentleman who runs what's called the Patriot Fund. And it's a huge conduit, you might say, um, that helps smaller nonprofits, which we are, because we only exist here in Pinellas County and really in St. Petersburg. So it, it, there were a couple of veterans who were on his side of the table and uh, Sheila said, uh, to the one gentleman, Will, thank you for your service. And then there was Jeff, and she said, thank you for your service. And then there was this gentleman, and she said, thank you for your service. And she said, you might not have served in a uniform, but you're serving now. So I want everyone who has not served to take that and think about that. You are serving now. There are over 1,600 homeless veterans within Pinellas County at any one time. And I'll tell you this, unfortunately, the VA and the government defines homelessness in a different way. So if you live in your car, you're not homeless. If you couch surf, you're not homeless. So you may hear somebody say, well, there are only 400 homeless veterans. No, there are a lot more. And Sheila and I started back in 2012 because uh, she's also a hairdresser. She also likes real estate. 
And so we got together and decided to do something for a special population. We started buying houses in 2012, 2013, and 14. Refinancing our own home twice and took out a home equity loan, we bought eight homes in South St. Pete. And if you can imagine, our first house was a four bedroom, two bath house. We bought it for $18,000. So you can imagine what it looked like. We've never paid more than 39,000 for a home and that was a two story, five bedroom, two bath house. So most of all the fix ups that were done, Sheila and I, both of us had a full time job. We did it on nights and weekends. And we finally became a nonprofit in 2013. Actually didn't get approval until 2014, but it was effective as of 2013. And you know, people don't want to give to a nonprofit if they don't have that EIN number. So we just decided that we were not going to be in the red. We were going to start in the black. And so what we do is we rent bedrooms in our houses to homeless or at-risk veterans. Every veteran who has their own room in the house, the house with which we furnish fully beds, linens, towels, kitchen stock, pots, pans, anything and everything they would need, washer and dryer, cable, internet, Wi-Fi. Now we call it a hand up, not a handout, because they do pay a rent, four, five, or six hundred dollars a month. They gotta have some skin in that game. So the cool thing is, is that any administrative costs that we incur, that get paid, gets paid by the rent. And we work with St. Vincent de Paul, the VA, and other organizations who will help those veterans pay that rent. We also work with Career Source Pinellas. So if a veteran needs a job, they can get a job. We can turn them on to resources, and there are so many resources in the county. But another huge resource are folks like you, folks in the community who want to do something to help someone else. You know, that, that human condition, we talked about the spirit, but we also have that human body. Sometimes that human body ain't so good and we gotta help. So we have continued to raise money and we have nine homes and we purchased a lot and we just broke ground on building a brand new four bedroom, two bath house with a detached garage that we'll use for storage. But 100% of our donations go to help veterans. And we are so blessed, Sheila and I are so blessed to be able to do this. And I, I can tell you that neither one of us back in 2012 when we started buying houses thought we'd be here today. But we are. And we didn't do it alone. It was with people like you who saw the need, helped the need, and made our community a better place. So on behalf of our board, I just want to say thank you so much because it's nice to be part of the beginning of this unity. So we just want to say thanks. Now, if you'd like a brochure, Sheila has got some and uh, she can pass them out to you. If you want one, raise your hand. This is a check for $315.60. I would suggest that we all hold sacred space for these two lovely people and for the charity Heaven on Earth for Veterans. Thank you for what we do.